Good evening, you're tuned into our television and this is the State of Business. I'm Nishani Figuera. Let's first take a look at tonight's main stories. Special commodity tax on six essential items reduced. Employees Symposium 2017 concludes on a successful note. In tonight's top story, the Finance Ministry has issued a Gazette notification announcing the reduction of the special commodity tax imposed on six essential items with effect from midnight today. Minister of Finance Mangala Samravira made this announcement in Colombo this evening. अधुकिरी में सन्हा गैसत निवेदने की प्रकाशित पाठ करा मैं मिलगानांग अदरात्रि दोलाहे सिते प्रयात्मकाई यानुए अर्थपाल सहा लोकुलुन संदाहवन वेलेन बांध बाद्द रुपियाल तीस नामे की अधुकरा पारिपुकी लोग आपके न बाद्द रुपियाल दोलाहा की अधुकरा खारवाले वाले बादर रुपियाल पनहा के नाडुकर रहती है ना ये वाके म पोल्टेल एलोलुटेल किलो एकाक संधा ऐकर न बादर रुपियाल विसी पहाकीन नाडुकर लती है ना विशेष एम में तेल नाडुकीरी में तुलन वेलन पोले आती पोल मिला आदु वे 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 न बावत आपी विश्वास करना अतः ऐसे में मैं मैं पूंछी सहन मालता पामना प्राजय मास के तर रुपियाल मिलियन एक दांस पांच सी आप पामना दरान्ने वेनो आप the Employees Symposium 2017 organized by the Employees Federation was concluded in Colombo today. Minister for Skills Development and Vocational Training Shandima Virakodi was a chief guest during the event. The two-day annual event was held under the theme Sustainable Enterprises Creating Value. The aim of this symposium was to offer Sri Lankan corporates an opportunity to find workable solutions in implementing sustainable business practices, thereby creating value to their businesses through better governance, talent retention, environmentally friendly business practices and successful management of logistics. So we will be offering very soon an online testing mechanism as well for those who pass out from our institutes to rank them. They can individually upon obtaining the certificate, they can face individually online testing and a test grading will be given. So based on that, the employer is, will, is in a position to select those whom they would like to recruit and the employee will be in a position to upgrade himself that's not one side for all like the certificate like the examination that is meant for the certificate when they are when they feel that they are confident they can face it and get a better rating and the employers can see whether he is within their range. Unless we as a country move in towards that direction, I believe this, the expectation of the employer will not be able to reach as you expect. Addressing the media during the technical session at the Employee Symposium today, the Deputy General Manager of Human Resources Management at Commercial Bank PLC, Isuru Tilakabodhan, highlighted the importance of managing talent in the corporate sector to secure the investments that have been made by the sector. Getting the right talent is a big problem. Although we have a lot of graduates coming out, we have a lot of children who are doing different diplomas and executive courses and all kinds of things, still, if you really go out there, you have a situation that you are not getting what you are looking for. So you have to make, a, make an effort to actually transform them. Then investment for development. As HR practitioners all know, 
getting money for this kind of things from the corporate bosses is not very easy because these things get into the back burner as we all know there are more immediate more urgent needs but you got to argue you got to talk about it you got to show the show them that the long term value of that and somehow win the commitment and get the required money for the investment in development and then you got to do a lot of other activities in the in the mid middle to keep them interested in the organization by giving them various opportunities that their talent would be tested so that the assignments are challenging that they would be interested and they will have sense of achievement to continue in the organization of course the rewards and recognitions you need to focus on but not in a way that would unnecessarily highlight this group of people because you need to manage the rest of the organization with them but long term retention i must say that you need to really look at things like ease of employee share ownership plans and maybe deferred bonus schemes you need to build those things in so that your investment will not run away you have to ring fence them and guard them because there are other people who are waiting out there to steal them because for them you have done the investment stealing from you is easy some people really don't want to leave the organization they love the organization but certain things compel them to leave because of their personal life so you need to see whether there's a possibility of creating that cushion if it is children's education or if it uh, if something to do with they are building houses whether you can financially support that kind of activities to retain your investment time for us to slip in for a short break do stay with us for more news when we come back Welcome back. You're watching The State of Business. Sampath Bank, one of the premier banks in Sri Lanka, recently introduced a drive-through automated teller machine at its super branch premises in Colombo. The ATM was ceremoniously unveiled by the managing director of Sampath Bank, Nanda Fernando, in the presence of members of the bank's corporate management. The drive-through ATM provides Sampath Bank customers with a host of services, including cash withdrawals, cardless cash facilities, credit card settlements, utility bill payments, mobile cash facilities, balance inquiries and more. Moreover, customers of other banks also have the ability to withdraw cash at this ATM using their American Express, Cirrus, Diners Club, Mastercard, Maestro, Union Pay and Visa credit and debit cards. Located securely within the branch premises, it provides an added layer of safety and convenience as customers can drive in through a dedicated entry driveway and access its services from within their vehicles. The new ATM joins Sampath Bank's network of 387 ATMs around the island, which includes Sri Lanka's first banking robot that works in the form of a humanoid teller that was unveiled at the bank's headquarters branch recently. Sampath Bank has strengthened this network further by joining Lanka Pay, the largest ATM network in the country, which enables customers to transact over 3000 ATMs island wide. Today Sampath Bank has introduced yet another novel service and this is the drive through ATM service at the Colombo Super Branch. Through this uh, facility a customer of Sampath Bank or any other bank even who is in the who could operate through the sampath bank network could come in a vehicle and uh, without getting out of the vehicle he can open the shutter and uh, put his arm out and uh, use the set card and make cash withdrawals so this is another convenience which we have introduced to the consumers to our customers sampath bank is very proud to introduce this uh, yet another uh, uh, service uh, which uh, we have been providing uh, to our customers so this is in the year we celebrate our 30th anniversary as a bank which revolutionized the banking industry we are very happy to introduce this service which is yet again uh, improving and providing customer convenience stocks closed on a mixed note today let's look at the details after this break
Welcome back to the show. Trading at the Colombo Stock Exchange ended on a mixed note today. The All Share Price Index gained 2.37 points to close at 6,598.26, and the S&P SL20 dropped 9.36 points to close at 3,869.06. Turnover was 3.3 billion rupees, and 51.2 million shares were traded. Up next are the day's forex rates. And that wraps up the show for tonight. We'll see you again tomorrow at the same time. Until then, thank you for watching. Good night.